Good morning everyone. Good morning sessions. Itaas ang kanang kamay sa ayos ng panunumpa. Panatang makabayan, iniibig ko ang Pilipinas, aking lupang sinilangan, tahanan ng aking lahi, kinukupkup ako at tinutulungan upang maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringging ko ang payo ng aking mga magulang, susundin ko ang tuntunin ng paaralan, tutuparin ko ang tungkulin ng isang mamayang makabayan, Naglilingkod, nag-aaral at naglarasal sa buong katapatan. Niaalay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap pagsisikap sa bansang Pilipinas. Sessions, let us be aware of God's presence. Giver of light and wisdom, thank you for giving me a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Help me to keep learning every day of my life, no matter what the subject may be. Let me be convinced that all knowledge leads to you, and let me know how to find you and love you in all the things you have made. Encourage me when studies are difficult and when I am tempted to give up. Enlighten me, my brain is slow, and help me to grasp the truth held out to me. Grant me the grace to put my knowledge to use in building a better world. Amen. Mission. We are a private educational institution of choice and a community of professional educators and lifelong learners. In collaboration with our stakeholders, we are committed to provide a caring and stimulating environment that nurtures holistically developed individuals equipped with 21st century skills. Vision. We envision our students to be highly motivated learners with creative and open minds, effective communication skills, adept responsible use of information, media and technology, enabled to navigate life and career paths with confidence, discipline, and integrity, in partnership with parents in the community, we strive towards total development of our students, that they may reach their fullest potential and become a productive member of society in the service of others. Students note number one, I will set my goals in life and I will acquire the knowledge and skills necessary in order to achieve them. I will work hard and I will never give up even when difficulties arise. I realize that difficulties are opportunities to better myself through perseverance on my way to success. Number two, as a citizen of the earth, I am a steward of all her bounty and will use her resources with care and responsibility. I will remember that her gifts are to be shared by all, including the generations still to come. Number three, as a youth of my nation, I will be a productive member of society and work to contribute to the development of my country. I will lead through action and involvement in making my country strong and great. Number four, as a member of my family and a student of Southeastern College, I will give gratitude to my parents and teachers, treat everyone with respect and courtesy, do my tasks with discipline and diligence, and conduct myself with courage, dignity, and integrity always. I will seek the counsel of my elders when the need arises. Students' Oath number 5 I shall always keep myself, my home, and my school and my environment clean and tidy. I will take care of the things entrusted to me, and be responsible for their appropriate use, maintenance, and safekeeping. Students' Oath number 6 I will build my character through habits of excellence, 
I will lead an honest life free from all corruption and adopt a righteous way of life in order that I may contribute to peace and harmony in the world. Student's Oath Number 7 I will be a lifelong learner and keep the lamp of knowledge lit forever. I will work hard to develop and grow in mind, body, and spirit. Student's Oath Number 8 I will do my best in all that I do in order that I may be of service to my family, my community, my country, and my God. And now, may I call on Ms. Fatima May Panya, Class Advisor, Great Nine Peacekeepers, for our value focus of the week. Someone said, and I quote, Wrong is wrong, even if everybody is doing it. Right is right, even if no one is doing it. End of quote. And in the movie Wonder, Dr. Wayne Dyer said, and I quote, When given the choice between being right or being kind, choose kind. End of quote. Good morning, Sessions. Allow me to share with you a story of a girl called Ama Liar. On November 13, 2012, a girl was on her way to school. She was about to ride on the LRT when an unexpected thing happened. She was asked by a lady guard to put her things on the x-ray machine for inspection. The girl snapped, got angry and furious because according to her, the lady guard yelled at her. And in her moment of anger, someone videoed her and posted it online. At one point on the video, she could be heard yelling, Am I a liar? Thus give birth to the buzzword, I'm a liar. The video went viral on Facebook that according to an article, it got more than 68,000 shares and 17,000 comments hours after it was posted. What was the intention behind posting the video? Were the persons on the video aware that they are being filmed? To the 68,000 shares and 17,000 commenters upon sharing or commenting on the video, did they even consider how much of the girl's peace of mind was seriously disturbed and how much did this affect her private life or relations with her family? Paula Salvosa once said, and I quote, The moment you signed up for Facebook, sign up for Twitter, or Instagram, you also sign up for greater responsibility. And that is for you to exercise your prophetic voice. Are you going to be a beacon of hope? Or are you going to be a reason for another person's destruction? Merriam Webster defines social media as forms of electronic communication, such as website or social networking and microblogging through which users create online communities to share information, ideas, personal messages, and other content such as videos. And as discussed on our previous values, value focus, internet has its advantages and disadvantages. Thus, we will only take what is right and safe for everybody. For this week, we will be discussing cyber kindness. Cyber kindness is our practice of using the internet to prevent hatred, creating peace, avoiding arguments, and creating a safe and kind cyberspace. Seeing people being unkind to other people and even animals on the internet is not new to us. However, online embarrassing, degrading, or humiliating is uncontrolled and forever available. Gone were the days where the awkwardness we felt for the mistakes we commit extends only to our family, friends, school, or community. Now, that people are free to take pictures or videos of our moments of awkwardness with or without our consent and post it on their social media account, millions of people, often anonymously, can say words that will cause you a lot of pain. The more embarrassing the video is, the more clicks it gets. The more hatred and anger seen on the video, the more clicks it gets. The more we click on these kinds of information, the less kindness we get to the human lives 
behind those videos or photos. It has been said that we cannot control what others post online, but we can always control the way we respond to it. No matter how you disagree or are disheartened by what you see online, always choose not to quickly judge nor respond with negative comments. Remember sessions as what Monica Lewinsky said, and I quote, With every click, we make a choice. Showing empathy to others online benefits us all and helps create a safer and better world. We need to communicate online with compassion, consume news with compassion, and click with compassion. End of quote. Let me end my speech with words from Mother Teresa. And I quote, Three things in human life are important. The first is to be kind. The second is to be kind. The third is to be kind. End of quote. Just like what Dr. Wayne Dyer said, when given the choice between being right or being kind, choose kind. Because being kind is the right thing to do. Thank you for, the, for listening and may we always choose to be kind at all times. Sessions, let us all prepare ourselves for the moment of mindfulness. We will use this to strengthen our focus and concentration. Sessions, close your eyes and calm your mind. Don't think of anything else and just focus on your breathing as you inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Continue focusing on your breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good morning sessions. May you have a productive week ahead. 
Thank you.